Hey, what's going on my Leos? Butch Terrell here. I am going to do your July read for the month of July. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, I wanna wish a special happy Canada Day to all my Canucks out there. And in a few days, Happy Independence Day to all my American friends. Um, also, we're coming into Leo season at the end of the month, so early birthday wishes to all you Leos out there. Uh, with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what message do we have for Leos? For July 2024. All right, the Leos. <laughs> All right, Leos. So the first thing I see is I feel like there's definitely some new energy coming in. And I feel like with this new energy, I feel like it starts off more physical. There's a lot of flirtatious energy. Um, you know, but it is, it does start off more in a physical sense. But there's definitely something different. You know, it, I mean, we have physical connections plenty in our lifetime, but this one just feels different. You know, I, I feel like your intuition is telling you there's something different going on here. And trust your intuition because that's exactly what I see. You know, I, I feel like it does start off in the physical sense, but very quickly, you know, I, I feel like having some deep conversations with this person kind of exposes what you were already feeling. Now, with this person, like I said, open communication, you know, no holding back. You know, it's just easy to talk to each other, easy to communicate, um, talking about anything and everything. You know, like I said, I mean, it, it was it's right there in front of you, in front of both of you. Uh, but we're not seeing it right away until we open up that communication and we start to see what they're really about and they're seeing what you're really about. And I feel like that's where the connection really begins. Now, I mean, like I said, that's where the connection begins, you know, feeling very confident that this is what you've been waiting for. You know, like I said, this dynamic may start off in the physical form, but um, it moves very quickly. You know, it's almost like that energy of when you meet someone and you're you're completely drawn to them, um, you know, physically attracted to this person and they're physically attracted to you and that's what really kind of breaks the ice. Um, but what we find behind that is so much more. Now, I feel like there's gonna be a little bit internal struggle going on here. Um, kind of looking at the negative instead of the positive, kind of wondering, does could this person f truly feel like I feel? You know, do they feel for me what I feel for them or is it just, is it just physical for them? But the funny thing is, is I feel like this is kind of like a mirror because they're feeling the same way. But once we have that communication, once we, you know, feel like we can just open up to each other, that's when this really starts to move forward. You know, I, I don't feel any hidden agendas. I don't feel like, um, 
there's any really red flags that I'm seeing here. I mean, all I'm seeing is this openness, this fearlessness, you know, this person putting in the work. I, I feel like you, you bring each other both, and, and you know, like, I feel like coming together makes you feel that much stronger, it makes you feel like there's nothing you can't do. You know, I feel like this person shows up, they put in the work. Um, you know, with that Eight of Pentacles. I mean, you, you both, you're both feeling this. This is not something like it's, you know, sometimes when we meet someone and we have such a special connection with them, sometimes we think, we think back to all the letdowns, all the times that we thought we might have found someone special and we got let down, you know, but don't let, don't let your imagination take the get the best of you here because like I said, I mean, I feel like you're both feeling the same way and I feel like that communication is going to open a lot of doors. I mean, having great communication with someone is so underrated. You know, it's so underrated. You know, when you're talking to someone and, and you feel like you can open up to them and they're opening up to you, it just builds the strength. You know, it builds trust. And, and one of the most important things in any real relationship is trust. You know, feeling like you can trust that person because they are open, because they are honest with you. Like I said, coming together, you know, I, I feel like you make each other stronger. And, what, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of people are strong alone. But having someone that has your back, I mean, that just changes everything. Having another strong person beside you, someone that, like I said, is open and it is honest with you. Knowing that you can trust them and know you can depend on them and rely on them. I mean, that just makes you so much stronger. You know, it's uh, you against the world. You can only look one way, but then when you meet that special person, you got someone at your back looking the other way. Like I said, I mean, even in the beginning, I feel like you were thinking about each other and only each other. You know, I mean, the feelings here are real. How they feel about you is real. How you feel about them is real. And I, I mean, it's only moving forward. Um, you know, we have new love, but then also the icing on the cake. I mean, we have that lover's energy. Like I said, with that three of wands, it's, it's that ship finally coming in, feeling like you finally met your true partner. And, and, you, and that's exactly what I see. I mean, it's, it's when you think about that. I mean, we have the, the Ace of Cups and the Lover's card. I mean, it's, it's this soulmate twin flame type energy. But I mean, this person... I mean, is very emotionally available. You know, this person isn't just about passion and, 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 and physical energy. I mean, they're compassionate, honest, and emotionally ready for this. You know, sometimes we meet people and they're just not emotionally ready. You know, there, there's times in life when we meet the right people, but they're just not there yet. They're not where we're at. It doesn't mean they won't ever be, get there. They're just not, un, you know, just unfortunately, they're not there at that moment. This person is there. You know, this is something I don't see either one of you wanting to walk away from. So I only see it moving forward. Uh, and moving forward, I see happiness. You know, I see you uh, filling each other up, filling each other's cups. I mean, this is such a give and take relationship. This is not someone coming in just to make you happy. This is someone that you're going to want to make happy as well. You know, and I've said this before. You know, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, not walking away from this, and we have the Sun card. Um, we have the Nine of Cups, that emotional fulfillment, filling up all your cups, not just a few. You know, we, like I said, I said this before, um, sometimes we meet people, we have a great sex life, but that's kind of where it ends, you know? And then we meet some people that we have, 
you know, a great mental compatibility with, you know, we're on the same page mentally, we get each other's jokes, we, you know, they make us laugh. Um, you know, we can open up to them, we can talk to them, they give us advice, we give them advice. Like there, there's so many different connections that we have in life. But even with a mental connection, maybe the physical isn't there, or the emotional. But with this, it brings all aspects of that. It, it's, I mean, this isn't just a lover, a companion, and a confidant. I mean, this is, this is it all. I mean, the potential here is, is kind of off the charts. I mean, the potential for success is here. You know, seeing that potential and that six of wands is all with that victory. Now, having this person in your life and you and you being in their life, I mean, I feel like there's a huge transformation coming for both of you. Uh, and that's what, that's what happens when we meet that right person. Like I said, sometimes we get with people and we don't know if we can trust them. You know, we like them, we enjoy them, um, but we don't know if we can trust them. So that's kind of like going back to what I said about, you know, always watching. When you're by yourself, you're always watching. You only watch one direction. You can't watch your back while you're watching your front. When you're with someone you can't trust, it's almost double duty. You know what I mean? It's like you're always on guard. You're always watching. You're always trying to look around and... You're trying to see 360, but when you have someone that you can trust, you know that they have your back. They know, you know, they're going to show up for you. So you don't, you, you can, you know, you can relax a little bit, enjoy things a little bit. And I do see a lot of enjoyment. Um, like I said, I mean, with this person, I mean, I see a strong foundation with you and this person. And like I said, I mean, I feel like in the beginning it starts off physical, but I feel like you both knew there was something more. You know, there, this wasn't just a physical connection. This wasn't just, it's not just anything. It's just everything, you know? Like I said with that, I mean, I'm really enjoying that Eight of Wands, or Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Swords in reverse, that fearless, open energy where you could just be honest with each other. You know, so many people under underestimate how, how much honesty really uh, is important in a connection. And I don't mean honesty as in like they tell you the truth about things. I mean honesty in the fact that they can tell you anything. When you're with someone that you, you can tell them whatever. You know, you tell them your deepest, darkest secrets because that's one of the hardest things about being honest with someone and being open with someone. Is sometimes we're honest with people, but we don't tell them everything. You know, there's some secrets we may hold back, but then there's that one person that we meet that... We can't, we don't have to hold that back anymore. We can trust them. Like I said, this is someone that shows up for you. They put in the work. You know, it's, it's not just a, like, again, it's not just you making them happy or them making you happy. It's being happy together. Because I really don't feel like you should in any relationship. You know, that shouldn't be your main goal is to make someone else happy. You know, you should always make yourself happy. And when they're happy and you're happy together, I mean, that's a happy, um, you know, that's the happiest connection you're ever going to find. You know, I always say that, like when, if you try too hard to make someone else happy or you try too hard to make someone happy so they stay um, or so they want you, that shit is a lifetime job. And it's tiring. You know, and a lot of relationships, that's why they fail is because you get to a point where, you know, you or them stop trying so much. But like I said, this is, uh, it just feels like home. You know, even though you just met this person, I feel like very quickly you, you grow this bond with them that you... Uh, you just feel connected on a level that goes far beyond any other connection that either one of you felt. And that's what makes it real.
and, and don't be like like I said, uh, don't be surprised if this takes a big jump because I see a lot of fast moving energy. But again, I don't see any red flags. I'm not seeing anything that you should be concerned about. You know, I'm seeing the opposite. I mean, even that internal struggle that you may feel or, or they may feel about um, in the beginning of whether or not this is real for, for you or this is real for them, it's real for both of you. And through open and honest communication, I mean, we're going to see that. There's no boundaries here. You know, this is someone that just wants to make you laugh. They want to make you smile. I feel like that makes them happy. And that's what I mean again about making yourself happy in a relationship. You want to be happy. You know, and when you're with the right person, when they're happy, you're happy. When you're happy, they're happy. And that's just how it works. There's really no effort at all. You know, it's about having that person that you can... You know, that first call in the morning, that last call at night, or the last person you talk to and the first person you talk to. You know, anything good or bad happens to you, you you'll, you'll be the, you know, you're the first one they want to talk to, and vice versa. I mean, this connection is intense, but that as intense as it is, it's just as much deep. You know, I feel like we have plenty of intense connections in our life, but one this intense and this deep this is not something we feel every day now with this person i mean i'm seeing a lot of fire you know we have leo aries and, and sagittarius but it's a great mixture i mean we have we also have you know we also have gemini and uh and aquarius Uh, we have Pis Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I mean, we can meet plenty of people we, we feel connected to and we have a great connection with, but uh, like I said, it's about filling up all the cups. It's not just about filling up a few. You know, you could be with someone that makes you happy, that makes you smile, but maybe... You know, they're not intimate with you. Or maybe they're not emotional with you at all. They don't show you emotion. I mean, we want someone that has that fire. You know, I'm a fire sign. I'm a, I'm a Sagittarius uh, sun and moon and a Leo rising. And, I mean, I got a lot of fire. And, I, and it's nice to have someone that... Um, you know, I, I said this before with fire signs, we get this kind of stigmata that or stigmata that we're, um, you know, we don't have that soft, watery side. We do. It's just behind a, a wall of flames. And if you can get through it, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I always I joked with someone before um, I was we were listening to the radio and that Johnny Cash, that Ring of Fire song came on and I was thinking, being, a, being a, a fire sign is kind of like living in a ring of fire. You know, if we can get, you know, if you can get through that into that ring, you're in there for life, you know? You know, if you can get in with a, with a fire sign, if you can work your way in, you know, you'll never have to go anywhere again. But we protect it. You know, at least I do. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Put in the comments, what do you think? I like to hear people's opinions, but I just think that we hide our water sign behind. You know, it's almost like there's that pool inside of that ring of fire, and, you know, we hide it. And only the strong can get through. You know, we, we protect it. I mean, I, myself, I have an emotional side, but I don't show it to many people because... That's, that's something I protect. 
And, but when, when I do show it to someone, I give it all to them. You know, when somebody gets through, I have a lot to give. You know, fire signs are passionate. You know, they're, they are what they are. You know, and I feel like every sign has its own strength and weakness, you know. But I feel like with the right person, your strength becomes stronger and your weakness becomes strong. And that's just how I feel. I, I, you know, it's, um, you're not weak for having an emotional side. I felt like that, that was a toxic masculinity trait that I had when I was young. I always felt like I couldn't let anybody in because if I did, it looked weak. But I learned over the years that love makes us stronger. Anyway, be good. Take care. Stay safe.